Who's ready to get your fill of risk? I'm Phil. I'm a top grandmaster playing risk global domination. On my channel, we talk strategy. So for tips, tricks, and techniques, subscribe and follow. Today, I'm playing the number two most popular settings in the risk community right now. Europe Advanced, Capital Conquest, Progressive Cards, Automated Fog Blizzards on... 60 second turns, expert AI, we have none with balance blitz. Okay, so a couple of techniques when choosing a capital. You want to choose one that someone can't roll the first turn, so that's important. You want to choose one that maybe is on the edge of a bonus. That can be important. And you want, you, you want to choose one that's either early game or late game important. This one... Cuts the path, this four, and it gives me access to maybe hold the two bonuses around it, three bonuses around it. We'll see. So, I won't be going for that bonus, but I also might not let green have it. So, what I think I do is I take North Africa on the first turn and then work into Orient probably. Green's going to have this two, this one extra border continent, and they split the path this way. And that's the only capital I see. You can almost be sure that there's going to be a capital somewhere in the top left. So somebody probably snagged London. Pink attacked up here. So they might have, like, Finland or something like that. So I'm going to try to conquer as much of the bottom as possible. Um, they're attacking over there. They're offline. White's offline. So I wonder if there are caps over there. Might be worth a check at some point. So I'm going to put five troops on this one and attack this way. If I can get all the way to Tunisia, that would be great. I don't see black attacking. So I'm going to try to conquer this whole bottom half if possible. We'll probably run into a cap somewhere. And if not, you can always get takes all the way through the right-hand side of this map. And just cap stack. I doubt that I stay blocked forever, but maybe, maybe green will leave me blocked. It's not a terrible idea. But it's also possible to extend the, these two borders all the way through West Africa. I think I could probably, like, roll pretty hard on the first turn. I don't think anybody's interrupting me. I don't see anything really happening. So I think right now we just focus on taking land. Make this to six. Maybe I just go left first and then right. We got we got a one there. Okay. So purple is to the left of me. Hopefully they don't break me back. I bet purple's cap is right here in Rabat. With that take. And hopefully they don't nobody comes from the other side this turn. Green might try to take two continents. They're rolling a 2v1, which I don't agree is a good move. I don't think anyone capped next to them. Okay, so they're trying to hold that one. Okay, that's fine. If I can hold my continent, I'm going to expand into Orient next turn.
Pink attacks there again. So I think they're trying to carve out this area. What did they get at the start of their turn? Five. So they don't have a continent yet. I'm not breaking them. I'm just going to try and take what's mine. Take my area. White has six troops. They might break me because they're a bot. Nope, they're not breaking me. So I definitely want to clear the bot from my area. Okay, we'll see. Black and purple. I don't... Purple could add everything to the two, hit the one, and then try to break. 12. So what does black have? That's worth 12. They have Eastern Europe, maybe? No, that would... They wouldn't have 12. British Empire Iceland. So they're taking this. They start with five. Three. Do I let them hold? Where else are they attacking? They didn't have the continent yet. They want to. They're going to want to expand into me. Then they're going to run into my cap. Um. Do I need to break that? I think I start taking Orient. See if they'll be good neighbors with me first. And then maybe fortify back here. Or I could fortify over here. Green gets 9 because they're holding their bonus. They'll probably take this other bonus. All this expand west. They're going a different direction. So they're probably expanding into Eastern Europe. I wonder if the bot left their cap. I bet we'll see somebody has two caps. So I think the bot's cap is in Estonia. I'm wondering if I should have broke purple. I also think maybe I should focus on black in my area first. The bot will take this kind. The bot has seven, so it has a ton of territories. I need to build on my cap as well. It'll be telling if purple breaks me. Black gets 11. See if they give me any trouble. No, they're coming out over there. They have a huge cap over there. Purple, I think, spent like all their troops capturing this. So they're going to run into purple and green. So if I can expand the other way, the only problem is the bot might have Russia. I don't think they do, because I think pink is going to stop them in Scandinavia. They have 11. They can choose to go bad neighbor and start a war with me, or they can go the other way. I think they're going to choose to go bad neighbor because they highlighted that. Nope, they just added a couple there. I don't think that I don't think people intend on rolling seven v fives, but you never know. A couple ways to win this map is to just get like a big league to keep going and stay out of conflict, let other people get in conflict with themselves. I'm going to start adding one to my cap every time. 
So I want to basically start clearing people out from over here. Oh, Black's right there. They probably won't let me do this then. Okay. So purple might be a good player. Let's check out the players. This is General Akiyama. This is Alabama 23. This is General the Geek. This is Jacko Buddy. And this is You Can't Win Today. I think I've seen You Can't Win Today before, but on a different account. So my goal next turn is to try to clear black out of my area so that their only way to go is through other players. He stayed in draft more than half his turn. It's possible he's going to bot out. I don't see any kills because the people in the game are getting big bonuses and the bot has been holding lots of territories. So I don't see any kills on the board right now. The bot's starting with seven troops. I wonder if they still have their cap. Hey, that's not bad. That's not a bad placement. Okay, so we will see greens offline. So we're battling everybody else. It's possible that purple comes into me now because they have nowhere else to go. Um, so black will about the bot. They'll be easily card blockable late in the game. I think pink's going into the bot, so I will run into pink. Um, I could take this other bonus, and then the bot breaks it, and then I take their capital. That's also a plan. I will probably get, like, seven troops on my next turn, because I bet, I bet purple has to break me now. And then I can cap stack and come out. Let the bot come through and take their cap. Okay, good. It's progressive card, so I don't want to trade early. Pink's still here. Black's still here. Purple's still here. Let's see what black does. How many did black get? The bot got 8 and black got 15. I need to clear black from this side and then start going into white. They're going to start getting more and more troops as they butt everybody else. and I So I need to try to do the same on my side or find a way to go into them. But they're, they're capped probably in London. Nobody stole the bot's cap yet. And I think I know where the bot's cap is. So I could steal it at some point in time. I bet that pink will come through and find the, the cap first. If purple bots, I have to use troops to go into this bot so that it doesn't break me. I think purple wants to be my friend. So they could be in the middle of the map or they could be going up into Italy. Yeah, they're stacking next to me. Seven. And then the rest can go here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this. My cap is kind of weak. I bet... Purple's cap is kind of weak as well, because 13, after only holding that for two turns, is kind of intense. And white's going to be the first one killable, I think. Because their cap will be weak. Green might be killable too. Let's see what green got on their turn. Nine troops, so they still hold that bonus. Do you break both of them?
They're attacking the other direction as well. I bet their cap is free. Yeah, their cap's free. So I can go into their cap, especially if I hold this second one. So I don't know who saw purple or who saw green attack me. I'm not seeing pink attack. Orient. So we're six. So if, if the white bot doesn't break Orient, then black and they traded. So they might. Black and purple probably won't. But I bet I have North Africa broken. Okay, they that was a good that was good for me. Don't want to break a five. Black's getting fifteen. So I bet I hold Orient and not North Africa. I do bet I keep my cap, and if not, I can tr trade maybe and take Green's cap. I don't have a trade. I need to put more on my cap. I have two bots next to me, which can be harmful at the beginning of a game. So I, we're betting that purple is breaking me this turn, that they want to expand into me. And then I'll have my turn, and I'll actually have more troops than I had last time. So I'm having some issues because of bots and then my neighbor, my bad neighbor. But black just abut purple. Purple's really stacking, so I need to defend that cap. Or take the other cap. Interesting situation. Still offline. Probably close to dead, but they traded. So when they're worth it for cards, I'm going to go after green. We'll see what white gets on their turn. What did they get on their turn? Nine troops. So they're still holding that bonus. Now their cap is pretty weak. They attacked 10. They moved 7. I decided it was okay to not hold as much territories, and then they moved four back. So they got a seven there. Card values are eight. They'll be at 10, 12, 15. I'll get the 20. I think I go into white and then kill green. They started with eight. Well, 15. Black's still on 15. So we'll see if black and purple have butt into each other. So I think pink probably took white's cap in Estonia and Latvia. So we'll see them get more. Hopefully the white bot doesn't break me, because then I won't have a bonus. We'll see what happens. Okay, so they might roll a 5e3. But I think purple or pink actually has the back door of them. And they started with five total troops. I could go into white hard and see if I can get the kill. Green's not worth it yet. And then fortify over to my cap. That's an option.
28 plus 15. Purple could cap roll me. Black started with 16 troops. So they're not getting more continents. Hopefully they all don't go on to that 16. Yeah, I don't believe they're giving me this continent back. Twenty eight. Let's check out white. Okay, I have two almost 20 caps and half the board now. But only two bonuses. So I wouldn't be surprised if someone comes into me. So pink's on my side. They have 30 on cap. Green's all off cap. So when they're worth it for cards, I will... 21, they might hit that 10. Yeah. So now green has... Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12. They have 12. They're killable. Green's killable for two cards. So it'd be a trade-in if I can kill green. Mm, it's possible, depending on what I get. And the trade-ins trade are worth 25. What's pink getting? Nine. Okay, so I could come right through here. I think I can kill green. I think I can come through, see where they're at over here, and then come back and kill green with my cap. I could slam per pink has four cards. I don't think I can kill pink. Unless I see black light come through. Cards over 30. Because if I could kill pink, I could own like half the board. And have four caps. But I don't think I can. Black started with... Black's got to be hitting purple. Black started with 20 troops. Holy smokes. Purple started with 12. Purple might be the easier kill. I mean, they're hitting each other, I think. They're really hitting black. So green has like less than 20 troops, probably like 12. We'll try 30.
I messed up the pathing. Do we want to try heading through this cap? Yeah. Do we think 60 will do it on... I don't think 60 will do it. I think they probably have like 30 on cap and they... I don't think 60 will do it. I think maybe pink's my next victim. And it's not going to be this turn. Black got 16. Okay, so purple hit them hard. So much board position. The psychology of letting purple carve out this and going right, I think, was right. It was a little iffy. Black's attacking back into purple. So purple is weak. Purple's going to trade and hit black. They're both going to be weak. Black has 30 off cap. They came up through the top. That's interesting. But they rolled a lot of times. More than just the top. Purple gets 18. So they're kind of switching it up a little. One of them's going to be weak soon. If I had a trade, I would go after purple, maybe. Purple trades. I think pink's the weakest, and if I could, I'd kill them right now. They're attacking into black. If I see that 30 disappear, I'm going right after them. So they've won this war. Baron come out the other side. I'm getting enough troops. I'm fine. 30. I mean, I might, maybe I want to see what's up there. 4. 9. Make these 30s. What's the trade? 40. This one's important. Nothing's up there. Pink would have been killable, but pink has five cards now. I could have moved my six over and stood. That might be the that might be the plan. Do we let pink hold Russia? I think we kill pink, man. If we can. It's just so hard because they're they're cap stacking. They're going to come into me now. No, they went the other way. I don't have cards. Okay, so I'll wait one more turn. And then maybe go after somebody. And I'll still be fine because I'll have two caps and a bunch of board. They're really hitting purple. We'll see if purple gets less than 18. That'll be interesting. That'll be a tell. Seeing through the fog is super important. That's why you see me keep doing this. Who's getting what? How many? I, I'm the leader with caps. We think black has one. We think pink has one. We think purple has one. I don't know why they would put troops there. Oh, they went offline. Did they get anything? Maybe I take a look up here.
We know black's capped up there. So he was hiding purple. Black was hiding purple. On the next turn, I think I try to kill black if they don't kill purple. I wonder if they take my cap. This is good. Pink's a good player. What's their name? General Akiyama. They might take my cap. They only lost three on that. That's ridiculous. That's like a 0% chance to only lose three. Probably stop there, right? You can come through through 67. Because they think black's going to carve out the other side. I wonder if purple's right there and they're going to get cards now. We'll see purple die this turn. Yeah. That was a smart move. They got 50 troops out of it too. I keep my two caps. See how much they leave on cap. 55 troops. He's slow. He has almost nothing on cap. We have to remember that. And he opened me. Straight line. So I could attack black for a turn and see what happens. I bet he's going to leave off cap. Seventy-seven. I'm going all in. Okay, I should have this win. I mean, he's just got so much off cap. Or so much on cap, but... He's got so much board to take. He's not going to be able to fortify both of them to cap. Doesn't have a cap run. Nine. Wasted troops there. I take all this on the bottom back and then card block the top one. Eventually. Hits the 15. Sweet. I wonder where he fortifies to. 
Oh, he just gave me the game. I cap run. One here. Good game. Four. Ten. Thirty-nine. Good game. That's it. Okay, that worked out. Yes. In progressive capitals, in fixed cards, you think about, like, you need to not have a battle with someone. In progressive capitals, it's the same, but you're there's on a big map like this, you flow where people aren't. You flow where people aren't, and you just take over a ton of map, try to get big. That's your initial strategy. Then you cap stack like Pink did. Pink may have been able to survive and gotten cards eventually. If they wouldn't have busted at my capitals like that. So, let's see the ranks of my opponents. Master, Master, Intermediate, Beginner, Novice. Alright. Subscribe and follow. And end the recording, though. Come on, man.